offer a varied history from showbiz to heartbreak and a very sorrowful past. From the outside, you may just walk on by without a second thought, but through the doors lies a multitude of stories. It is hardly surprising that some energies have been left behind. Paranormal occurrences are regularly reported, including various ghostly sightings. There is also a strong negative energy which lurks in the darkness. This would be a challenge for the team, but I think we are up to it. My location has a long history with parts of the building dating back to the 13th century. Now an empty ruined shell, this venue attracts many visitors throughout the day, but takes on a very different feeling when the daylight fades. A figure has been reported to have been seen in one of the upper floor windows, and distant sound of voices have been heard from the empty grounds. People have described catching shadowy movement out of the corner of their eye, but never seem to be able to explain the cause. This location has a long-standing reputation for being haunted. Being partly open to the elements will bring an extra challenge to this investigation, but I think it will make it all the more interesting. I have been contacted by social media by someone who believes their home is haunted. The family moved into the property and at first all was well. It was around six months in that they started to witness some strange activity. It began when they were woken by their youngest child who complained they couldn't sleep as his bed was shaking. They told me that they had heard a plate smash and had noises coming from the kitchen area when the room has been empty. Items seem to go missing, such as car keys, and then turn up in the most obvious of places. Could this family be experiencing poltergeist activity? I'd be interested to investigate this further. I'm bringing the team to a location with a multi-layered history. From plague pits to gangsters, with lots in between. A network of tunnels lies below. Whilst the area above housed an Art Deco dance hall. With many famous faces having appeared here. With countless hauntings reported in this vast building. I think the team will be in for a very eventful night. My name's Andy, Andy Moore, and I've been here, part of the management team for 33 years. I'm also a psychic medium, psychic artist, so I've seen a fair bit over the years here. We've um, been holding ghosts here for the last 20, my responsibilities for the building are our day-to-day -day management of the building and its staff, looking after contractors, everything that you can think to do with a, a really old building. So the, uh, the building itself is built on ancient uh, land. There used to be a forest there. Um, there used to be a massive manor house up the road, about half a mile away. This was all their farmland. And in 1928, they started building the foundations of this building. Um, it took five years to build, and they built it in the Art Deco style at the time. Um, the whole building is really what is quoted as a cathedral to swim in. So when you look at the upstairs where the pool is, you'll notice that there's a stage area where there was many bands in the 50s and 60s that played, such as the Beatles, the Rolling Stones, the Who, the Kinks, you name any major band from the 60s, they played here. And that went on all through the winter season, then back into the summer, we went into swimming and all the swimming activities that you could think of. But before that, in the war years, this was actually used as a major air raid shelter. Um, there is a mortuary here as well, where bodies were kept of the local residents who were injured in the bom bombing raids. Um, there's lots of different areas. Um, interrogations took place down here. Um, the whole building was a civil defence base. There's a plague pit just located just beside me. Uh, when they um, excavated the foundations in 1928, they found in excess of 300 bodies there. Um, during that time, it was just cheaper to cut the bodies over in concrete. They're still there. In the local area, there are a few other plague pits that have been exhumed 
and some that have been concreted over as well. So that's still there today and the bodies are still there. So there's always been reports of haunting activity in the building way back to it when it first opened. The first um, spirit that's really been seen is a little girl called Emily. Uh, she's about eight years old. Uh, she's seen all over the building and from what we can gather from years of research and different investigations that we've done here, that we found out that she died of TB. Um, her home was more or less now where the large pool is. Um, but she's just seen everywhere. She has caused a bit of hassle sometimes as we've locked up the building and we've heard her running around singing and we've had to unlock and look for children. Um, there are other children down here that run around, they're frightened contractors uh, that have been working down here, contractors have been pushed off ladders. So not only have we got Emily, we've also got what I would call quite a negative energy that is seen down here. Um, some people will see him in human form, some people will just see him as a shadow. Um, he's not very friendly towards females and he's, yeah, he's, he's just not a nice character whatsoever. There is a, a man in a boiler suit that's been seen. He's got red hair, blue boiler suit and the strange thing is, and I, I can't work out why, but every time he has been seen, the plant room, something breaks which is really weird, I can't work that one out. Um, there's lots of spirits all over the building, especially in the upstairs toilet. There is a lady that during the war had um, an affair with one of the American airmen. She um, got pregnant, the American, and her decided to abort the baby. So he got her some pills. She took the pills in the upstairs toilet, took too many, and sadly lost her life. Um, when she was found, she was found with a bottle of pills and people naturally assumed it was suicide. She's been seen by teaching staff, swimming teachers, there's hot offices next door. Um, loads of people have seen her. Um, she doesn't communicate very well, but she makes her presence known in other ways. Um, people using the gym have handed the memberships in because they've seen people looking back at them, at them through the mirrors in military uniform. The fire service uses once a month to set up uh, new recruits with breathing apparatus and all that kind of stuff. They hold bodies all around these tunnels and they've been up to my office and said, you need to get downstairs quick. There's a gang of kids running around and we know there's no kids down there. Smethwick Swimming Centre in Birmingham. Uh, Sarah, where are you going? Um, I'm actually going to brave these tunnels by myself. And um, there's a room that apparently was used like as a morgue area with a body shoot in it. So I'm going to go and sit in there. Okay. Dale and Jane, where are you going? I have no idea now because I was going to go in the morgue area, but Sarah's going to need the opportunity. <laughs> So she is the boss. She is the boss. Um, Do you want to come on with me and we'll walk down the opposite end way. then and work our way around the, the bottom tunnels? Yeah, we'll just go around the other end where, of the where tunnels. The, where the swimming pool okay. is. The very warm area. Just be careful of the pipes, as you know. Don't yes. go smacking yeah. your head. Yeah. And uh, if anything happens, don't forget to scream loud. <laughs> and, uh, since Dale is here, that will inevitably <laughs> happen. <laughs> so that leaves you then on your own in the hub? Yes, it does. On my own at the hub with a long corridor down there, which I can't see the end of because it's pitch black, and uh, a corridor over there, and plenty of rooms off it. And there's a little hole here in the wall, and if anybody's head pokes through that, I'm off. <laughs> right, it's awfully dark down here. Very dark. So I'm gonna stick my torch on. 
careful of the steps, Jane. Yeah. So what do you think to all the um, apparent hauntings here, then? There's absolutely tons, aren't there? It sounds absolutely phenomenal um, with what we've heard um, from Andy uh, there is lots to be had uh, and lots of different tunnels you look around um, every direction there's a different tunnel here we go oh, my it's, it's quite spooky to say the least This looks like something out of a zombie movie or something. So I'm going to sit in here. Apparently this is an active area. So, so I understand that there are a few people down here and a few animals as well. Uh, if you used to work here or perhaps you used to live on this land before this building was here. You might be connected to the magnificent house that was once here just on the road. And whose land this was. Are you still here now? Can you speak to me? Can you make a sound to let me know you're here? I can hear something down the corridor to my right, but I'm not sure uh, if it's dripping from the ceiling down here. There are a couple of areas that do drip, so it could be that. Is there somebody there? So it could be that. Is there somebody there? I just realised I don't have a torch. Okay, if there are any spirits, uh, energies down here, can you come forward and show yourself to us? You can come towards me if you like. Can you make a noise? Can you give us a sign? Okay, yeah, so it's actually pitch black in here um, and I decided that I wanted to have a little bit of a challenge for myself and come down on my own into this area so this apparently was used as a morgue area and just right in front of me here is a, like a little alcove in the wall which is what was actually a body shoot where they drop the bodies down into this room so not very nice so we'll see what happens there we go, that's what I was talking about just there. Now that there you can see that there's a chair in there. Um, it's been known that if people sit in that chair, they come over quite emotional. There are lots of noises. There's, if you can hear like a tapping, that's just like something dripping next to me. Being that we're under a swimming pool, that's quite unnerving. So yeah, this chair, even grown men have cried sitting in that. So maybe I'll have a go at that in a little while. Why are you here, Emily? Yeah. This, this once was yeah. ground level. What was that? Sounded like a voice. No, I didn't hear that. Where from? Am I sat this for tunnel? Yes. Down there. Oh, right, okay. Why are you here, Emily? I wonder if it's picked that up. Hello? Okay. It's not coming from upstairs. It was down here. Looking through the screen it's obviously I'm seeing the, the room lit up but when I look around me Okay, 
quite a lot of like knocks and bangs and things down here. Oh, no. It's like boiler. Oh. Excuse me. Whew. Okay, so <laughs> we've heard it a couple of times already, the boiler. Sounds like there's a little kid trapped in there, in all honesty. Uh, it makes this really high-pitched squeal. Um, but that's the first time it's gone off since we've been sat in the pitch black and that... <sighs> Can you push these chains to make them swing? Oh, I can hear something. I heard a voice then, but I'm not sure where that came from. I heard a voice then, but I'm not sure where that came from. Keep getting drawn to here. So it's like Freddy Krueger's basement, if I'm honest. It's a bit spooky. Footsteps, 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 can you hear it? Footsteps, 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 can you hear it? No, I can't hear it. It sounds wooden. Okay. Not concrete, it sounds wooden. Jesus Christ! Is that one of you? Dale or Jane or Sarah, is anybody moving anything? No. No, I'm so still. Not the access, girl. There's just been a really loud sound of something being moved down here. No, I didn't hear that, but I heard footsteps that were down here and not upstairs. I just heard something and it just made me jump. And if I, if I were to say where it was coming from, you know that, that hole in the wall I said I hope nobody pokes the head through? It sounded like something from behind there. Oh, no. oh, wow. There is a room behind there. If that was somebody moving something, can you do it again? Well, come check it out for you, Phil. You're going to leave me down here by myself. <laughs> if, if that was somebody moving something in that wall, or behind that wall, can you do it again, please? A chair or something like that, that's how it sounded like. Okay, so Phil's just radioed through to say that um, he's heard something. Mm. Hello? Hello? Okay, so Phil's just radioed through to say that um, he's heard something. Oh. oh God, I've got a bad feeling in here. I've got a really bad feeling in here. So, Phil has just heard a noise. Yes. You are sorry? Yeah, stacks of them. Yeah, that's exactly what it sounds like. A chair moving or something. There's chairs and tables. It made me jump to be honest. Okay, so just to confirm. Oh my god! Did you hear that? I just heard a bang from in here. Did you? Yes. <laughs> Dale's just had a bag from in there. Is there anybody in here? That's wolf. Yeah. Now, I just did ask for the um, 
was like a handyman, if you like, down about who wears blue. What was that? There is, there is some, some water, water dropping. Right. Um, and we've also asked for Emily. I, I asked for Emily as well. But I also asked for something to do something or make a noise or whatever. But it was a co good couple of minutes or so after I said that, and it sounded like plastic chairs being dragged across the floor. That looks a bit creepy. Oh, it looks like somebody's stood over there. That's really getting my hackles up. <sighs> that really did. Just there. Is there somebody in here with me? Are you trying to scare me? Are you trying to scare me? Hello? Is everybody there? Hi. Is that right? Well, it's freaky in here. This camera's playing off. Why? Right. It's just turned off on me. Which one is it? The Panasonic. But it won't let me turn night vision back on. Please go ahead and move it. 
Can you move it off the table completely? Okay, so myself and Jane are now in what's known as the Woodstar room. And apparently in here there's supposed to be like a dark mass. Yeah. Um, an entity that doesn't like females. So naturally, we thought we'd come in and check it out and see if we can get any activity in here. Can you show yourself? So Jane's there, sat at the table. Hi. Oh, that. Oh. Hi. Oh, that. Was that behind you? I can't tell. Oh, I've just gone right cold. Are you okay? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. What was that? Was that you? No, I wasn't. Are you okay? Yeah, 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 yeah. What was that? Was that you? No, I wasn't. <gasps> what was that? Did you hear that squeak? No, but I heard that bang. Did you just knock the table or no, something? No, Did you not hear it? It's solid as well. That's not moving. That's weird. It were it won like two knocks, but I thought it was a, you knocked the table. No, I never touched the table. So here, if you can see it. There's graffiti. This is original graffiti. What's that? Original graffiti. Is anybody there? Can you show yourself to me? Can you show yourself to me? As I was saying, this is all original graffiti from the war. Do you scream? Uh, well, I am breathing, but I don't know whether or not I oh. <gasps> Sorry, swearing. What was that? Uh, well, I am breathing, but I don't know whether or not I oh. <gasps> That sounded, again, it sounded like something moving on the table. Not touching it. I promise you I'm not touching it. And even if I did, I'm going to touch it now with the leg wobble it. I'd have to really, really, really yeah, yeah, have yeah. the leg to make noise. I feel like there's something here, but I'm not sure what. Was that you that just made that bang? If it was, thank you. Can you do it again for me? Sarah heard a whistle. I heard, did you hear, did you whistle? When? When I was down in that mark area? No. Somebody went... Well, we didn't. 100%. It will be on the camera. 100%. Okay.
can hear footsteps. Is anybody there? Is anybody through this door? I can hear footsteps. Are you there? So where are you guys going to go now? Where would you like to go? Morgue. The morgue? Yeah. Let's go to the morgue then. Oh, no, either way. Oh, have fun. I forgot where it is. It's through the... Don't get pit. lost. I probably will get lost. This is the death shoot. So they take the hash off and bodies were dropped or lowered down into here. I've got to admit, I don't like this sitting in the dark on my own down here. There is something here. So there's something, some energy that makes them swing. Um, if you're here, the person, the spirit, the energy that does that, can you make them chains move again? Can you knock them for me? The shoot. Hello. Hello. Are you having fun? Yeah. Keep your noises. We were getting stuff in the wood store before. In the way, sorry. Wood, wood store. store. Keep your noises just out there. Footsteps. Is that footsteps on water? I think it's water. Yeah. Is there anybody down here with us? Can we hear you walking? Can you make a noise? Andy said that um, he sent Emily down to us because she came to him in his office, so that's why I drew that picture. And she asked permission to come and see us. He's told us to look out for a really pale light. Apparently right. she light, lights a candle for you. Right. Um, like as a new friend, so if we see a really pale light, apparently. Well, that's her.
just off the uh, morgue area. We're just off the morgue area and Dale was in the morgue. I think he's shining his light, I tell her. Dale, where are you? Yeah, I'm in the morgue. Emily, if you want to come forward, Phil stood up now in front of me. You can go and hold his hand if you like. I know you like to do that. It's okay, he's friendly. Who's your back? How unnerving it is when you stood behind, well, with a tunnel all over his behind. Behind you, yeah. Especially when it's dark, people forget that we've got the night vision on, so they're seeing it differently to how we are. There's an awful lot of water coming down. Sarah, do you want me to come back towards you? No, I'm loving it. I'm fine. Okay. Stood still again now. Did you open the door? No. Hello? Hello? Somebody down here? This is the room that has original graffiti from when this was used as an air raid shelter. So it's quite um, an emotionally drenched room. And not only that, we are sat above approximately 300 bodies buried here in an area which was apparently a plague pit. Who the hell's whistle? Who's whistling? Who's whistling? Who's whistling? Who's whistling? Who's whistling? Who's whistling? Sorry. Are you whistling, Sarah? You got whistling earlier, didn't you? Yeah, yeah. We just had it really loud. Wait. In there? In there? Did you not hear that? How could you? How could you not? How could you not hear that? 
No one us. Did Sarah just hear it? Did you hear it? Just a minute ago. That, that, that would rip, it would like we're just sort of outside door, like... Honest, not just a, not just a, but a, a tune. What, shush, 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 listen, shush. I hear yeah, it, I, I hear that. it, I hear it. That's miles away from where we are, isn't it? What the hell? What? Where are you? sat uh, in the main pool area. There's nobody in the building now, no members of the public anyway. Uh, me and Jane are now in the changing area. I think it's the small pool, wasn't small it? pool, like the kids pool changing area. And in this area, in this area, from the shower area. Whoa! Oh! Gosh, that's wind. Wind outside, it's quite yeah, it's just picking storm. up out there. In this area, it's been known that even if the, pub, uh, the pool's been closed for hours, the wet footprints appear on the floor, which is a little bit weird. It just feels strange. Yeah, I think it's, like I said, it's these doorways are just a bit, you expect to see some little legs underneath them? Yeah. Really up and down. Yeah, down. That's the area there, behind the stage, where the lady with the tea trolley has been seen. And, uh, 
many bands have played there, many famous bands, uh, including the Rolling Stones and the Beatles and the Kinks. Right on that stage. Anybody in here with us? Do you want to come and say hello? Move one of the doors? Make a bang? Are you leaving your wet footprints? Is that how we know it's you? Do you hear that knock? Yeah. Do you hear that knock? Yeah, yeah. quite a deep one. Yeah, like a... Is that you? Are you making a knocking sound? Are you able to do it again, please? Can you make a noise? Push your feet right towards us. Push your tea trolley towards us. Have you got any nice tea? Or coffee or buns? Any cakes or anything like that? That's a big foot. Mm. Any cakes or anything like that? That's a big foot. Mm. End of investigation at Smethwick Baths. What an awesome location, first thing to say. It was, uh, I thoroughly enjoyed it. Uh, strangest things for me, um, the noises while I was on the hub on my, by myself, and when Jane and myself were walking around to an vigil, I think we just stopped in one of the rooms and whistling was definitely heard. And it was like, where the hell was that coming from? So we're trying to chase it around. And um, the others heard it as well at some point uh, during the investigation. Couldn't find who, where it was coming from, didn't know who it was coming from. A total mystery, we walked all the way around the basement under the swimming baths. Uh, couldn't find it at all, so um, very strange and indeed. Oh my but God, what a night. I mean, this is a place that I've wanted to come to for, I would say, <laughs> years and years really as long as i can remember i've known about this place but i've never actually been to it but coming here tonight i think the best um area definitely for me was when i was on the hub by myself there was this it sounded like a hissing noise like something just did not want me there and it was really nasty and it hissed at me a few times and it, when i was listening to it it was almost like Somebody was messing about with me and I was thinking, oh yeah, somebody's having a laugh. And then it did it again, and then it did it again. So yeah, 100% heard that. In, I'm sh it should be very loud on the camera as well. Yeah, we had a um, fab night. In fact, best night I've had for a long, long time. I've really, really, really enjoyed myself. My highlight, I think it was when we were, um, I was out with Phil and we got really distinct whistling um, amongst other things that had happened. But you know, one of those places it just gives you constant goosebumps and something was happening to someone all of the time. Do I think it's haunted? Something going on here, I tell you, loved it. Well, what, what can I say? Smethwick Baths is a phenomenal place and to spend the night here has been fantastic. Uh, the whole building had something about it, but for me, it's down in the basement. Um, throughout the evening, there's been little bits going off all the time. Um, but the whistling is, is what did me. I was in the plague pit room um, and as clear as day, really loudly, this whistle. Um, Jane and Phil were in, in the room next to me, um, in the main hallway, and we all heard it. Where it came from, we don't know how it was produced, we don't know, but absolutely unbelievable. Definitely haunted. What a great night. Um, I would love to come back to this place, uh, given the opportunity, but we'll have to see what happens. So yeah, definitely something going on here. Love it, haunted.
Probably gonna have to get outside. Did you hear the wind? Yeah, it's really bad. It's ridiculous. Hey, you Did it get you? It did not. Thing. years. Yeah. 